First of all, sorry for this. We're still quarantining ourselves even though life is a little bit more open than normal, but that's besides the fact. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys and show you guys what I am doing because essentially I'm always finding something to get my hands into for some reason. Now, one of the things that I am wanting to dye my hands into is making a sensory board. Now, if you guys don't know what a sensory board, I'll probably pop it up here. But pretty much a sensory board engages in like different items that your baby would be typically into but you won't allow them to touch. In this way they learn how things operate, how things open, how things just function. But you just put all that type of stuff that obviously safe for them to touch on one board. So I can go ahead and turn this around and show you some of the things that I had got. Now I tried my best. I didn't really think about recording this too much when I made this or went out buying. Otherwise I would have remembered the cost of everything. But if I remember it, I'll just say it as I show you. But I did get some things from Home Depot Lowe's and also Amazon. I really wanted to do this because Nala is just in that phase of really trying to learn. She always want to touch things. She want to always be a part of things. So I just wanted to create something that I thought was helpful with her curiosity and things like that. So what do you think about having a board, a sensory board? I think it's pretty cool. I wish I had things like this as a kid. Just kind of like how to escape. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. It's gonna teach her how to be a little escape artist. Mm -hmm. Let's hope not. But y'all like my shirt? David got it for me for Mother's Day. Tie it as a mother. Y'all fill in another gap. Let's go. All right, so this is pretty much everything that I have laid out here. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit closer so I can show you guys what's going on. So right here i have like this little bolt thing it's called a barrel bolt and what this does they can just kind of shift back and forth like this and that could just be something cute a little noise just something to play with and like i said everything that you are going to put on this board you want to make sure that you are watching them play don't let them freely play it in like another room where you don't know if a piece is coming out on its own or something like that another thing i have and i got this from michael's this was with the 20 percent off like a dollar something and basically all this is is just a zipper let me take it out for you but all this is, is just a zipper that she can zip back and forth. It kind of makes a noise. I kind of like that it sounds. So I'm planning on putting this on here and taking this out so you can get a best, better close up. I'm actually doing this back and forth. I got a wheel. I don't know what this is called, but it's a two inch one and it's just got a flat back so it's easy to just seal it to the board and they just do this this was like three or four bucks the barrel bolt was like three or four bucks if you ever seen a sensory board they're at least fifty dollars for stuff like this so if i was gonna pay this amount of money i'd rather put what i want on it instead of having little things that i don't really care about but that's that i also got this this is a door chain. One thing I was actually looking at too was a door knocker. But surprisingly, door knockers are more expensive than I wanted to pay for. Pretty much, you just have this on here and they could just, you know. I don't think she's gonna realize off the bat that it can come off, but if it does, it's fine. Learn to put it back on. Three to four bucks too. This is a door spring, so they just can do this. It's just real flexible. I tried to find one on purpose that was just like, she just wanna hit. This smells actually really weird. But yeah, this was only like two bucks. Outside of that, I got a light switch. And this is the one that is flat. 
this was like two dollars with these from what i'm figuring out yes you have to saw in the back of your board to create it being flush against the board i'm actually using an old cooking board so that i don't have to spend money i also got the face plate for that i also got a call bell this was about four dollars on amazon what i realized with this you want to make sure that your board is kind of slanted when they play with this like in this direction because if not if it's laying flat against the wall it may or may not work it depends just depends that should be annoying enough also i got a doorknob this was about six dollars at the hardware store so that should be good and I also got this other like switch, but this was also like, was, like 79 cents. So I thought this should be fun. I know some people can wire this to turn on another light on the board, but I'm not really interested in doing all that right now. Also, I got this touch light, which I'm not really sure how I feel about it because I just found out literally after putting batteries in it that they had to touch this specific spot in order to turn it on. Now, I don't know if I like that or if I want it to turn on by this another thing that i seen i had an old what you call it like those things that you work out in you put across your arm and put your phone into i haven't used that in years so i decided to cut that off and then she can learn how to buckle unbuckle buckle unbuckle i also don't know if i'm gonna put this on there but she had i have this old calculator that she could just Feel the different textures of that. I don't even know if this still work. Oh yeah, it does. As well as this is we call this her old seraphone, and she literally can play with this, but she don't play with it as much as she used to. It does work, but we just don't use it. So, but this can actually charge and turn on. So I'm thinking about doing that and then just popping it off. Maybe if it's on the board, she'd be more prone to playing with it. I don't even know how I'm going to arrange this yet. I'm just gonna play around with it, but just kind of see where it goes.
All right, so it is actually hours, hours <laughs> later, but now I think it's still a good time to actually finally show her her little toy now. Let's go get it. Let's try to sit her down here. Let's sit, sit. Let's scoot you in. I hope you like this because mommy went through a lot <laughs> to make this. So, here you go. Push it down. Gotta push it. Yeah. Yeah. Got this. Oh, you see this here? Push right here. Look, let me mommy show you. See this? I wonder if I should like color it. I think I'm gonna color it. Color the button to make her want to touch it. That's what I'm gonna do. Hold on. <laughs> all righty you guys so i am coming with this voiceover probably like two and a half weeks after i filmed this video to give you guys an update of what i think of everything so at this point nala still really likes her activity board i have to be honest she doesn't play with it as much as she would probably like to because this is definitely a project or a game that you want them to play supervised. You do not want them to play this unsupervised at all. As you can see, she is still learning how to maneuver each thing, which is great. I love that she wants to and she continues to try to learn different things like the little belt buckle she hasn't got yet, the little chain she hasn't got yet and of course the door oh my gosh i'm thinking with that is supposed to go alongside with another door on the opposite side i don't know but that doesn't even work the adhesive that i use mind you a lot of this stuff you can end up rearranging putting new things but if you do decide to use the gorilla adhesive that will not move once you put that bad boy down that thing is done uh, but overall, I really am proud of me actually accomplishing this. Uh, I like doing this myself because that way I don't have to worry about having items that I feel like I wasted money on. A lot of the busy boards are very expensive. You can easily be into the hundreds with something like this. The one that is on Amazon is roughly uh, $60 regular price. So... I do suggest highly going and get it yourself. I spent probably about $40 on this board, so I'm very proud. My only suggestion I would say is if you decide to do the light switches to measure out the cutout of the flat one um, in order to fit that whole piece in, and I would suggest to go a little bit smaller on the everyday light switch with the actual cover so measure the covers and not the actual item and that will probably save you a lot of time <laughs> yeah that is really all and that's really what i got to say so hopefully i am able to inspire someone to do the same thing so yeah that is going to be all for this video and i would definitely see you guys in the next one